2019 GSL Super Tournament, Season 2. Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> Where are you? Third <laughs> casting voice. <laughs> My God. Oh. You know in the scary movie, when the person's about to be killed, and they're like, who's out there? And they say to the scared voice, show yourself, you coward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want them to show themselves. Imagine I want them to that. stay in the dark. It's getting close to Halloween, Artosis. We could have a haunted cast. Ooh. Ooh. Spooky, spooky, spooky. All right, guys. Well, the uh, monitor's still not fixed, so everything's going according to plan. Mm -hmm. This is exactly how I envisioned today working out. Uh, but there's still time because we have exactly three more games left, Artosis, if things are going to continue on. As they have been. Who 3-0s, though, out of these two? It's a hard one. I don't know. We'll know after game one, though. Don't worry. I just want you to tell me how many attacks there's going to be before someone dies, before there's even one attack. Oh, I didn't time travel that much. I only time traveled enough to know that one game. Yeah. I forgot I wasn't supposed to tell you guys I wanted to look smart, and then I, <laughs> but I got two, you know, I'm the only guy who's ever time traveled before. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Is it like airplanes where, like, every time you do it, it's, you know, your, your carbon footprint grows and you're getting radiation and stuff? <laughs> like, how's, how's it work, Tasteless? Are you polluting the out. planet through uh, time travel? Probably, probably. Are you doing the butterfly effect? Like, you go back in time and you pollute the dinosaurs? That's right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tasteless brings cigarettes to the past and sells the, them to dinosaur the dinosaur kids. I dinosaurs to start smoking. That's how they all went extinct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You like that, Mr. Trotosaurus Rex? That's a menthol. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, he would have to, he would have, to have like a long stick. His little arms can't yeah, hold man. it in his mouth. Yeah, you got to light it for point. him. Yeah, yeah. you got to light it for like him. You want to... another puff? Yeah. <laughs> You got a bunch of pterodactyls with like <laughs> butler uniforms on flying around <laughs> servicing. <laughs> my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so he's just the dinosaur cigarette salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Your greatest scheme yet, Time Bones. I'm like, yeah, that's right, Mr. Tronosaurus Rex. I'm from the future. In the, <laughs> in the 1950s, doctors said that's good for you. He's like, oh, thanks, Tasteless. <laughs> no problem, talking dinosaur. <laughs> It's like, how many, how many dinosaurs are there in 1950? How many pro gamer dinosaurs are there? Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> start. A couple champions. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's tons. <laughs> Makers. Classic. <laughs> the dinosaurs are so excited for the future of this race. <laughs> but Tasteless, Time Bones knows. Time Bones went back and killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> Jin Air Greenways. <laughs> Trap. There's a lot of T-Rex pro <laughs> Oh, there's tons of them, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> okay. <sighs> good stuff. Yeah, good stuff, man. I hope this is not a 3-0, seriously, though. Oh, it's a 3-0. Oh, man. It's just who is going to 3-0. <laughs> Well, we've got one gate on the low ground here. That's for Classic. Trap's keeping his gate in his main. Well, Trap's making two gates tasteless. Well, we've seen uh, builds like this before, where you defend with yeah. Stalker Shield Battery for a bit. We'll see if Trap goes super aggro against it or not. But I feel like every time we've seen this strategy, it's worked. I think so, actually. I think so. I Oop. think you'd normally go Stargate with it, but yeah, I think, right? Uh, we've got Trap uh, hiding a pylon in the very bottom left. Now, um, we almost always have someone hide something here in, in a PvP. It's just there's so many spots you could put something and it just doesn't get, but you know doesn't what? get located. But you know what? Whatever his strategy is, he's playing against a fast expansion, so it's not what he expected. Ooh, okay, so Robo. He's gonna, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it should be like an Immortal Prism yeah. push with Stalkers. This could be hard to hold. Yeah, but... <laughs> the thing about Classic's build is I feel like you have it tested out against everything that's popular, and this is certainly yeah. a popular PvP build. So there goes down shield battery number one. He sees what he's up against. The thing is, I would feel confident as Trap. But then again, I lose to this on the ladder as well. 
I'm like, oh, no, I should be able to bust that, no problem. And then they, like, do a force field and kill my own first immortal. I'm like, oh, no. I have 22 probes, and they have 40. <laughs> I wish Tasis hadn't killed all the dinosaurs yeah, so T-Rex could yeah. show me how to stop this. Sorry about that. So you got a mix spin out of that robo anytime soon here? Hello? Yeah, that's a good question, Tasis. Like you got a you mix something out of that robo, buddy. Do you, though? There, okay, there we go. You can't tell him what to do. He's the pro gamer, not you. You're right. <laughs> Gotta get TY, both caster and pro gamer, a hybrid nerd. So, this push is gonna come very quickly here. The question is if Classic can hold it or not. If Classic mm. holds it, it should be a very easy game unless he takes like so much damage that things start to balance out. Yeah. Uh, but if this works for Trap, he's just gonna barrel through and crush uh, Classic and then win 3-0, because that's all we're getting today is 3-0s. Mm -hmm. Whoever wins this first game wins it all. Okay, Void Ray on the way. I think that's a great choice. Immortal coming out second after that Prism. So he wants to start poking. Oh, my God. Oh, Sentry barely staying alive there. These batteries are essential. Very good micro. Sustain. Very good micro so far here from Classic. Traps micro is not bad, but Classic really on top of things. Not taking any hold damage on anything. Okay, he backs up. There is an Immortal being chrono boosted out here. <laughs> what are you giggling about? Just, there's, oh, yeah, there's lots of T-Rex. <laughs> oh, yeah, lots of them, future. man. <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> Look at this. The boy right coming out and smashing some face right there. Hey, he can't even kill that sentry. Jeez, can't even the do sentry it. is the biggest hero sentry in all of StarCraft II history. That is the ultimate tank right there. Let him retire. That sentry, when this game is done, he's going to have so many... Uh, is Metals there, on his on his does, military jacket. Does Heroes of the Storm have a sentry hero yet? I don't know. I hope it's a tank if they do. It better not be a support. Yeah. We see how I much damage saw. they can actually soak. Okay, oh. now with the Immortal here, the damage gets much more difficult to deal with, especially oh. for these stuff. Oh, it's so good. I can't believe that's not dead. That thing's a ghost. That's Bruce Willis from Sixth Sense. Ooh. He's going to back up. He's going to try to attack it again. Again, Trap has to make this work. He does not have an additional base. Yeah, to be fair, Classic doesn't have many more probes, but yeah, if he holds this, he's going to oh, explode. What? Yeah, he's just so putting he's out going to explode. <laughs> yes, he's like going to explode speed. in a good way. Yeah. In a good way. There's good explosions yeah. and bad explosions. Well, he's going to get his third void ray out. It's getting a little bit quiet here in this push. Red, I yellow, and classics. green. What? He's almost got all the primary colors in yeah. those void ray holes. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. He's got blue on the shields. Jeez, he can make any color he wants, Stasis. Stasis <laughs> <laughs> wonders, though, if, if the primary colors are just in Iceland. <laughs> like, uh, I think you misunderstand a lot of things, Stasis. Okay, um, again, the, the, oh, he's actually just going to go for it. Nice, shutting that down entirely. We're getting to see Trap just get painted into a corner here. He's not giving up on this push yet, though. But it looks like, as far as Classic goes, he's basically there with an answer every time. Yeah, yeah, he's looking quite good. Uh, you know, he's got these three Void Rays, which don't necessarily scale super well, but they're actually okay. They'll still be somewhat helpful going forward. Look at this, 40 probes to 24. See that explosion I was talking about? He was yeah. at 30 during the push. was a good explosion. The, you were right, the, too. Yeah, during the push, he was so at 30 probes. It is possible to juggle the army over here, but if you get caught in the middle of this... He just doesn't want to fight up a ramp anymore, I guess, but there's no retreat. This is YOLO. This is as YOLO as it gets, and he sees it. Well, it's oh. certainly YOLO since he didn't even take a base. Look at this. He's yeah. got... Oh, YOLO. Uh, well, now he has to go fight it, because otherwise you'll jump it all up into the main base. There's not 10 shield batteries there like there is the natural. Okay, he takes the pylon out. That's going to darken this area. And he's going to try to push here into the natural. Oop, one, one sentry. We know how much damage they can take. Look, it's one immortal against two, though. He turns on one of the void rays. He actually keeps the two low health ones out of uh, prismatic alignment mode. These, well, none of these void rays have been picked off yet. Yeah. Nice with the batteries over here on the left, healing us up. Another warp in comes. Some stalkers in the back not attacking. Now coming forward here. Yeah, now again, there's like no real retreat hold. path here. Ooh, oh he my god! So that should be it. That's that's game. 
Goiterays almost win this one by themselves. Yep, GG. Classic takes game one. That's right. All right, well done by Classic. Is a 3-0 incoming? Well, I hope not. I really don't like having days this short for Super Tournament. I know, these are supposed to be long, epic days. <laughs> what do you think of that part in Trap's Heratos? It's awesome. Yeah. You can tell that he has like a really big head, which means big That's brain. That's his big brain in there, man. Yeah. That's the Starcraft, bar, Starcraft players are toast, his big brains. Yeah. Well, some of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Classic's got the same one. <laughs> Maybe yeah. these two brought us. Who's got the better part in their hair? Tough call. Isn't it, what's Parting's part look like? I didn't look. Mm -hmm. Triton, which is the name of a moon. <laughs> yep. Yep. There's one thing I know, it's moon's artosis. <laughs> As Tasteless pulls down his pants at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get a game two. Start. Sick, Tasteless. <laughs> I see London, I see France, Tasteless. <laughs> Makers Classic. Gin Air Green Waves, Trap. <laughs> this audience has been they've been good sports here considering that considering they're watching you're literally on watching on a TV like you do at home yeah. <laughs> at least you're not watching on your cell phone that's right although some of those cell phones nowadays are bigger than those TVs I think yeah some of these cell phones are so big they look like ice cream bars mm -hmm. are you a fan of big phones no why not because my hands aren't big what, do you hold the phone to your ear you make phone calls like a caveman? You don't have, like, earbuds? Wow. Hey, you guys <laughs> want to see my impression of Artosis answering his phone? Hello, Ug Ug. <laughs> That's how I say it. Yeah, because he's a caveman. Yeah. I'm okay with big phones. Yeah. Good for watching stuff on. They, like, don't fit in pockets as well either, though. How big of a phone are we talking about here, Artosis? Yeah, how big of a phone are we talking like, about? Like, Artosis, that's a television you're trying to put in your pants. Listen, oh, I'm sorry, Tasis. It's just I don't wear Jenko jeans like you do, okay? <laughs> Remember Jenko jeans? <laughs> yeah. With their big pockets dude, so you could steal stuff. Dude, my mom, my mama, I, I want to get Jenko jeans. I thought they were so cool. I think it was, like, seventh grade. And so my mom bought them for me, and I was, like, so excited to go to school. I'm like, these pants are so cool. And then everybody made fun of me. <laughs> oh, really? And it was, like, terrible because it was, like, oh. it was it, like you had to move from class to class. And so, like, every time I walk into class, I'd be like, oh, look at his pants. He's so not cool. And I'm like, oh, this is terrible. Like, Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I was not with I, it at that age, and I wore sweatpants to school, and people would be like, nice sweatpants. I'm like, thanks? They're like, thank you. <laughs> they allowed my legs to breathe very well. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Stargate. Okay, Stargate Tech here. Can we have the 3 0 curse broken? <clears throat> I hope so. Let's have a close match. Or is esports doomed forever? Just 3 0s everywhere. If everything's a 3 0 for a whole year, do we just change the best one format? Yes. May as well. Yes. If you win the first game, you're winning them all. So both players are expanding. In other words, there's nothing that dramatic that should be happening right away. No. There's a lot of ways you can try to attack in, and in PvP specifically, before they get their second base up and running it. But if you're both going to expand, then we're going to have probably more of a mm. more of a macro PvP here. Looks like Classics maybe prepping something there. Yeah, he's got a hidden pilot up there. Yeah. Not sure exactly what his, his plan is with that. Ah, his own Stargate. Cool. That's kind of a, a fun maneuver because you guard against uh, incoming oracles for a certain amount of time, and then if they come really late, it can catch your opponent off guard. Can't believe this uh, probe is just not checking that corner. Why would it? Why would anything be there? Well, it's PvP. Oh, God, yeah. you're right about that. But that means it should be checking everywhere. Right. It's doing neither of those. 
now it's checking places. Okay. Stalkers are ready here for this Oracle, so it's not going to do any damage into the main. Looks like it might try to loop around and go over uh, to the natural. Looks like perfect defense pretty much everywhere. Phoenix on the way, so he can chase down that Oracle. Blink coming up here from Trap. I feel like this is somewhere that uh, players really play wrongly against Classic. The amount of yep. people that go Blink against Classic... <coughs> And then he just sits there and makes immortals. And guess what happens yeah. then? He attacks eventually, and yeah. then you die, because you have all these stalkers that don't do anything. Two kills on the probe so far. Really not doing much of anything with those adepts. No, not too much. And so a forge is coming along here. Oracle sent out. Let's see what damage he can get done. This one not getting much done. That was his first kill. So with this forge here, obviously this is a nod to a much later game. Mm -hmm. Traps tried to do a timing attack in game one and it didn't work out. Oh man, okay, three kills there. Oh, make up Ooh. your mind, make up your mind. Ooh, just barely gets out. Yeah. <coughs> Very important you don't lose that Oracle. Yeah. Even though you're probably not gonna get many more probe kills, being able to tag the army and watch the movement, especially in mirror matchups, like in general, if you know where their army is, because you're usually working with roughly the same type of material, yeah. the same kinds of material, just trying to get into a better position is a lot of times key. Mm -hmm. All right, now he's trying to hunt down that Oracle, not going to quite catch it. Uh, the Blink is going to be fin finishing up here for Trap, adding a couple more gates. We don't really see his full plan yet, though. I'm not, I'm not quite certain what he's trying to do. It's kind of a very middle of the road blink right now. Ooh. Yeah, this is a very kind of a safe standard play. Again, we have a forge over here as well for classic. It's a little bit later. So the plus one attack upgrade is gonna be a pretty big leg up here for Trap. I don't think that Trap made too many stalkers here, which is really nice. Yeah. Because if you overmake stalkers, that's where classics are really going to get you. But I'm not sure the exact number right now. I'm excited to have a late game PvP here. Yeah, here's four. No, never mind. Oh. He, he made a lot of stalkers. Never mind. How did none of those die? Okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so the Oracle's finally killed off. We're still waiting to see a third base here for classic. It's also possible he's just going to try to push out. We have six more gateways coming down. Excuse me. Hmm. So is this is this going to work if he does some kind of power push here? Zell Legs well, is coming he's along. He's going to have Archons as well, so, I mean, it could. He doesn't have plus one, though. The Phoenixes will help out somewhat in the battle, for sure. Sure. Yeah, he's definitely going to go for a push here. Yeah, it might be a trap trying to do a little bit too much at once. Not entirely sure as of yet. Well, these situations are very straightforward, especially in mirror matchups. This attack has to work for Classic. Because if Trap holds it off, Trap will just end up getting bigger and bigger, and it's going to be a, a game where Classic has to play catch-up. Yeah. Which is funny, because he's the one that went Immortals here, so it feels like against the Link Stalker count. Should be all, you know, should be all right to go into a later game. Okay, so the push comes down. His army's headed southbound now. And yeah, his army's going to pair sees. reasonably well against this, I think. Okay, let's see if he can get into a good position. Oh, he's actually sort of out of position here. Probes are being transferred. He's actually going up to the ramp. Oracle picked off here as well. And is he just going to try to push into the natural? Mm, no, he wants to I, go yeah, for the third, I, yeah. I think you killed the third. That's feedback here. He kind of used some of those charges on those zealots down there. He's actually fighting an Archon that is morphing. There is an Immortal in the very, very back here. It's actually crab walking sideways. It's not able to do quite enough damage here. More zealots are going to come in into the front. He's going to be careful now, to keep that Immortal alive. Classic zealots at the third are doing damage while this attack is happening over here at the Natural. Now look at that. The Phoenix is running. Pick up that Immortal. That's really the linchpin of his army right now. 
All right, looks okay. like he will finally kill that off, but actually all the Immortals going down for his opponent. Beautiful blink forward there by Trap, picking yeah. up that Prism. He's stunned these Archons, but it looks like the Zealots and the Natural have already done the damage they needed to do. There's 10 probes that have been killed off as the Archons thaw. The battle continues onward here. But I don't see any easy way to reinforce here as Classic. Oh, no, yeah, that's the real problem. If you still had a Prism, then he definitely and, you know, have I think, a, uh, a chance to kill him here. Yeah, I think Trap has the right idea here, too, trying to um, uh, just buy time by having the Stalkers come out. And the moment he tries to engage, he pulls away again. Yeah, like his Stalkers can end up clearing the rest of this army. You can see he's really putting a lot of damage on the Archons. Yeah, the single Archon's still trying to fight. <laughs> come here, probes. 17 Candy probes for you. <laughs> <laughs> Get in my tinted window van. All GG. Right. Classic, classic. Taking it down. Uh oh. Uh oh. He brought him to Uh oh town. In Ono County. Yeah. <laughs> right by This Looks Bad Street. <laughs> oh, you can't go down. You can't go up and down. Sorry. Ugh. I just want to be one of the boys. <laughs> we really do play every kind of music here at GSL. Yeah. What do we have earlier? It was like no, no Rastafarian dubstep. <laughs> it's like playing. Remember yeah, I was saying that, that on the first funny. record? Like, we have Rastafarian dubstep playing? I'm like, we didn't, we didn't have enough it. of that in GSL. Trap, you can do it. Take our energy. Don't give us a 3-0. Now, Trap is not 100% for BlizzCon yet, so he does want this win. He's, uh... Oh, wait, no, he is 100% for BlizzCon. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's... Never mind. They're, they're, I both, set. they're I both set. I gotta I'm go. Game start. Roar! This part's... Makers Classic. Jin Air Greenways, Trap. Please don't be a 3 0. Please. Who are you asking? The gods of esports. Uh, do you think they're watching right now? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the gods. Of, I don't know if the god of esports is a guy with a long white beard or toes. I mean, I don't know, but uh, maybe there's something out I there. I thought man. you were talking about DJ Wheat and Carmack. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like those are two very different time zones. <laughs> yeah. Now, so far, Classic has made this look easy. I really thought this was going to be the closest match of the day here. Trap tries to do a timing attack yeah, in game welcome one. Welcome to my world, Tasteless. I yeah. thought those first three were going to be amazing, awesome, close matches. Yeah. What time is it now? My he God. Tasteless uses Hocus Pocus. He's like, in three attacks, the game will end. <laughs> like, Tasteless, there hasn't been an attack. How could you possibly know that? <laughs> My name is Time Bones. <laughs> yes. I need to find John Connor right now. <laughs> is there another Terminator movie coming out? Yeah, I what saw What happened like, to that uh, franchise? It's so bad now. Is it? One and two were so I, good, and then three, yeah. I'm like, that was, I think Terminator 3 was the moment I, I was like, oh, they're going to destroy all good storylines. Three was, I think That's I remember the, it. the chick Terminator. Remember that? No, I. You don't, you seriously don't know what I'm talking about? I'm sure I must have seen it, but I can't remember it. You probably blacked out. It was so traumatic for you. <laughs> You're like, I don't know what happened. I remember going to the theater, and then I came out screaming. Yeah, Terminator movies are kind of fun. Two was amazing. That's the Two's one. the best one, dude. But far. one is good. One, one is, is good. good. Quality, okay. Quality movie. Quality movie. The new ones are bad, though. I don't, I don't know if I saw the last one, and the new one I'm not planning on seeing. I don't have time for that stuff. Damn. Artosis is a tough sell. So we've got to start. Wait, did he... What? Yeah, this okay. is par for the course, man. Provision isn't enough. <laughs> we need we need probes to have vision, vision like upgrade. Zelnaga watchtowers. Yeah. That would be amazing. I think you should be able to put a probe on another probe's shoulders and they can see twice as far. You get three of them, three probes together, but you make them wear a big trench coat. They're all stacked on top of each other. You can Bojack Horseman. Yeah. 
Now, from a literary approach, Artosis, it's very apt that this is a Rubik's Cube on this map. Yeah. As we're still trying to solve this puzzle of a matchup. Mm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> So it's going to be a robo build. Somehow that Stargate just wasn't scouted. That goes to show you how practiced Classic is. He's like, well, actually, if I put it exactly here, there's just this little blind spot in the scout pathing. Well, you got to, yeah, if you're just clicking through, it, it skips that area. It's a good thing to find out. You should always go into a map and just kind of click around and figure things out. Okay, Forge coming down now for Classic. And Double Oracle getting mm -hmm. ready. He's going to try to dive in. He's going to have these Adepts come over here, but is he going to actually just hit this natural? Now he's going to try to fish the Adepts, I'm sorry, the Stalkers down, and then the Oracles are going to come in, right? Only, only two Stalkers are coming down. So it seems like Trap kind of knows what's probably going to happen. Ooh, he actually got him to go away a little bit. Here come the Oracles. Nice move. Damn, not bad, that not was bad. so good. That was really Great well executed. Play. Good micro. Look at this. The oh, adepts are going to come down. Are you worse. kidding me? Oh, my God. Classic stop. Seven kills. Only loses one Oracle. Not bad. That was really nice tactically. All right. Tries to come back into the main. That's a lot of probe kills early on. And he really didn't lose anything for it. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good harassment. Ooh, I like that force field action. Oh my god, we're gonna get more kills? Are you serious? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. the targeting of the Adept and Oracle, I love it. Seven wow. more kills. 37 workers to 26. Seven kills, the same number of deadly sins. <laughs> it means something. <laughs> Gotta mean something. Yeah. 14. Can there be seven deadly sins of StarCraft? Oh, there's more than that. There's, <laughs> there's way more than that, Tasis. No. I could all write a whole book about that. <laughs> Artosis Testament. Now, <laughs> the book of Artosis. Yeah. There's a lot of fiery damnation in that book. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> like, don't you believe the commentator that comes after me, okay? This is how it actually is. I'm the one true prophet. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go into Robo Tech here again. I mean, it's already been a very big win here for for Trap. I'm, I'm sorry for Classic. Mm -hmm. Trap lost so many probes. Well, Trap is actually going into an interesting tech route here to try to come back. Uh, most likely, it's gonna be Blink Disruptor. Although we yeah. have seen well, uh, some Colossus starting to pop up. The thing about Blink Disruptor is it makes the math kind of fuzzy. Yes, it does. On, on, on how the fights are gonna go down, and uh, even though positioning is important, it really just does the Disruptor shot connect with large targets. Mm -hmm. And in PvP, microing against that can actually be quite difficult. It really can. It's very different from like a Terran microing against it. Terrans can kind of stim and split everything into different directions or pick up in medevacs. With Protoss, you're like, okay, I have one prism. Yeah. Maybe that can pick something up. And also the targeted units for the Disruptor, a lot of times, I mean, n nothing moves that fast with Protoss when those fights are happening. Yeah. Like, it's very easy to hit an Immortal. Really, it's a, you know, yeah. Stalkers clump up a lot. Sentries are dead meat. Oh, Sentries are the worst of all. Yeah. They're the saddest unit in the whole game. They're just sitting there holding that snow globe, feeling bad. They're the easiest thing to hit. But a Sentry's just a robot, right? There's not, like, a little guy in it, right? Yeah, it's a robot. A lot of the Protoss it's units It's not like robots. Men in Black, like, they open it up and there's just a little tiny little alien guy in there. That would be like a little tiny sad. Protoss player. You think Parting would feel bad for letting so many sentries die in the past. <laughs> Remember those old builds where you'd use up the forest fields and let the sentries tank the damage? Yeah, yeah. Those I blank. remember right when the game was in beta and the, and the sentries could fight mutas off. Eight damage is yeah. pretty high. I remember playing Zerg and flying a bunch of mutas in and being like, well, these are little support units. I'm going to win this. Yeah. Same thing with the Shaman in Warcraft 3. I think it was the Shaman. I don't know. The wolf, wolf mage guy. <laughs> Warcraft 3 players everywhere screaming at the monitor right now. Wolf mage guy. Yeah. Like sounds sounds kind of silly, Tasis. I don't know if that's real. Uh, oh my god. What in the world? He's killing everything with two immortals. This is gonna get worse. Now there's zealots coming Ooh. in here. What am I seeing? 
just gonna get the disruptors. Oh my god. Oh! LOL. GG. Two, GG. Two immortals in a prism just and ended. And the curse. Three will oh. not be broken. Trap. So much sodium. We just got through four best of fives. What is it like? In two hours and 45 minutes. It's 7.45 p.m.? What is going on? It's not even my bedtime yet. I know. I still got another hour and 15 minutes. And guys, in case you're wondering, no, the monitor was never fixed. Let's see if it's, it's fixed broken. for tomorrow. I imagine it'll be fixed for tomorrow. I hope so. I wonder who broke it. Hmm. Who are the usual suspects? Probably you and I. <laughs> you and I, yeah. Well, uh, guys, thank you for coming down. Those of you in the studio, uh, sorry the monitor was broken the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. I don't know. It's bad luck there. Hopefully you be back up tomorrow. Yep. Super tournament, one word. Yep. And there you go. 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, This Protoss guy in the upper left, he's like, today's result. And look at that, they're talking. Round of eight. So we have three Protoss and a Terran get through. No Zergs get through today. Good. I don't like those guys. Yeah, we've had enough of them. Yeah. Let's see what we've got here. Bracket! All right, so we have two Zergs. Okay, tomorrow. Four Protoss and two Terrans. Not so we're going to start off tomorrow with a PBZ. Yeah, stats for Stark and Sue okay. Gumiho. Those are good and matches. And a PVT, okay, and then a PVP. So we get all the uh, possible matchups. And then the mirror matchup, all the non mirror matchups, and then just one mirror matchup because you have four. You gotta have at least one. Yeah, I guess you're oh. actually right on that. So all tomorrow, right. guys, we will be here again. It starts at 5 p.m. Um, so we're gonna be on tomorrow and then the next day, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna be on a little bit of a break, a little brick brock, a little yeah, brook loop. That's true. Of course, KSL has been announced. Has it? Okay. Yep. So be back for that. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, Super Tournament, a couple more days to go. I think, uh, well, all my predictions so far have been pretty crap for this tournament, so I'm not going to say tomorrow's <laughs> going to be closer. But it can't be less close. I hope. Um, it can't be more one-sided than all 3-0s. Well, it could only be 3-0s again. That's the most it could be. It could be very quick 3-0s. These were very quick 3-0s. It could be faster. It can't be faster. You're scaring me, Artosis. It's going to be a better day, Tasis, I promise. I you. hope, I hope. I want I want longer days. This is this is like so short for us. Um okay, we can hope for tomorrow then. Hmm. Uh So the screen as you can see, our Tosis can you move to the side here a little bit. Let's jump. Our screen is still broken. Look at that. But tomorrow you should use your stupid time traveling skills to do something useful, like fix this screen. Or I was too busy trying it. to look like a good caster. I forgot to warn them <laughs> yeah. about that. Oops. Well, time bones. It's been a good one. It's been fun. Yeah. I think they might make us fill here for a little bit before we close it out. Who would be the most likely caster to break that screen? No regret is the answer. No regret. No regret. That's all the time we have, guys. Thank you for joining us. We will see you tomorrow for day three of the GSL Super Tournament. We love you guys. Have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are.